Okay, I've got my um, Alinko DX70TH that I've modified. Um, picked up this used unit that came with a remote kit, which is uh, pretty cool. I've never had one of those. So I plan to install that in the truck. Um, and I installed this uh, BHI DSP unit, and I've put those in several uh, radios before. Been very happy with performance, so I wanted to definitely stick it in this guy that has a very poor noise blanker uh, performance. Um, definitely going in the truck. So um, just wanted to show you what the uh, performance looks like. Here we are in 80 meters with, let me turn off the noise blanker. I mean the uh, DSP. So pretty remarkable. That's level seven, which is pretty high. Forget how many dB uh, noise reduction it is, but considerable. Go ahead, Orange, then I'll sign after your uh, transmission. If you're still listening, Kevin, it's a pleasure uh, meeting you there. VA3 KDY2. There goes my voice. B got uh, 2W. I mean, uh, I mean. Uh, Let me turn it off again. K A1 YVU. Uh, K1 uh, G Z L. Uh, go ahead. I can't even hear this guy. Listen. So, signals that you can't even hear, it, it'll bring up uh, beyond the noise level. And it'll just clear up everything generally. Something I wanted to show you was the... Uh, I actually mounted it in the remote head. The way that I did that was to run this uh, extra cable and uh, put some heat shrink around the main around the main cable there, and then added a RJ12 jack, which goes into the board, which is obviously in the uh, rig itself. So quite a bit of work on this one to get it to uh, be able to put the DSP remote, but kind of necessary because when you turn the unit on, um, the, the DSP defaults to off. So I wanted the ability to uh, you know have that guy front end, and I wanted to put it in a place that wouldn't interfere with the uh, microphone if I want to put the head back on the uh, unit. So. Pretty happy with this install. Um, like I said, uh, a lot of custom work. Took me probably three times, four times as long as putting one of these boards in there, which really only takes an hour or two. So, um, pretty happy. Kind of hard to film with one hand here, but let's see what else I can find. So really, uh, old D104, the on his, uh, radio shack radio when he was back in his hammy day. Yeah, he turned that into an aircraft mic. Uh, yeah, if you're uh, using uh, uh, SSB, you got to have DSP these days. Uh, I'm so used to it. I, I don't. I can hardly operate uh, in a noisy environment first without it. The mic thrilled with it because he wasn't used to hand mic, and she'd have to slide her chair over and grab the mic all the time. This way. I gave her about a 10 foot cord so she could set it up and testify where she's working. So, really, between the DSP and playing with the RF, I'm not the RF, the um, IF shift. I just took the cartridge out of a headset that was all decomposed. What happened to the guy who had that job? 
Oh, he retired. Oh, okay. 